विद रघुनाथ डाबोलकर और अन्ना साहेब डाबोलकर और हेमाड पंत एज बाबा कोल्डन डाबोलकर वॉज बॉर्न इन अ प्लेस इन थाने डिस्ट्रिक्ट कॉल कुडाल ही केम फ्रॉम अ वेरी वेरी पुअर फैमिली हिज मदर डाइड इन इन्फेंसी एंड हिज आंट वॉज द वन हु लुकड आफ्टर हिम दे वॉज सो पुअर दैट डाबोलकर ऑल दो ही वॉज वेरी ब्राइट वॉज नॉट एबल टू हैव अ वेरी गुड एजुकेशन um he studied only up to fifth standard in english medium and then he had to stop because they couldn't afford to send him to school and um, he took the job as a teacher for 8 rupees in a month um the the situation did not improve any however there were um, people around him one mr chet chitness saw that this child was this young man was a very bright man and he told him why are you doing this job as a teacher why don't you come and join the government you will be a talati in a small village so getting a government job in that day uh, in that day and age was like um you, you you are sure you will get pension if you stick on to the job you will get amenities of house to stay or something that it was better than um, doing it on your own um so he um, joined the government service and thus through just sheer hard work the superior would see how good he did and then give him a little promotion and so on he dikshit and a man called apti were very friendly they used to read the bhagavad gita together and they had made a pact that any of us who ever meet a satpurush like shivaji maharaj's guru ramdas swami would tell the others so we'd all go and meet that satpurush uh double guru was rather skeptical about satgurus but dikshit came and from shirdi only he wrote to double guru and said that i met sai baba is out of this world i mean his divinity is so much um double car mind was wavering he said i'll go and then he um, dikshit told him you didn't go and took him to task and then he decided to go then his friend son expired in lonavla and that friend had asked a guru to sit by him when everything else failed he asked the guru to sit and um, by him so that that child would recover and the guru uh, did do that and the child expired so he said what's the use of having a guru if he can't even save a life so he didn't go but chandorkar was after uh, him and he said um, double kar you have to go so then um, then he comes to shit and once he sees baba of course his life changes in the charitra there is the mention of the grinding of the wheat at that time dabulkar was present and he saw that and he wondered baba is an ascetic he has no family he has no friends he has no he survives on bhiksha now why is he grinding this wheat so the villagers he asked the villagers and the villagers said that it is to prevent the cholera epidemic from um, spreading in the uh, in the village so he thought what has wheat flower got to do with cholera epidemic so that gave him the idea and of course baba told the four women to go and throw it on the outskirts of the village and the cholera epidemic did not enter shit so he had that proof so he said what is this this is something that is to be written about it is a wonder it's a miracle how can wheat flower um stop a uh, epidemic from uh, spreading so um, he um thinks that he should write baba's charitra that very evening 
while they are in uh, Dikshitwada, he and Bale Bhatte have a very heated discourse. Bhatte says that you should have a guru. Then um, Dabalkar says, if we sleep, what is the guru going to do? We don't need a guru. It's our destiny and hard work. We have to do things for ourselves. So uh, this went on for a long time. And finally, no conclusion was arrived at. Next morning, they go to the Dwarkamai when uh, Baba says, what was going on in the Vada? What was the discussion about? And then he looks at Hemad, uh, at Dabalkar and says, what did this Hemadapan say? So they tell Baba about it. And thus, Bab Dabalkar gets the name of Hemad Pant. Hemad Pant was a very famous man who wrote many books and uh, uh, he was from the Yadav dynasty and he was very famous for the mathematical things and all that he did. So this was like Baba was telling him what his future job would be. Because with the grinding of the wheat and the flour, the idea, the seed of writing Baba's Charitra came there, then he calls him Hemad Pant. And so um, he was a prolific writer and a very good one. So um, this thought was there. But however, he asks uh, Shama to ask Baba. And Baba says, Baba, don't say that you're a poor begging for kid. This guy, uh, Hemad Pant, wants to write your thing. So say yes. And don't say no. So Baba says, if he lays his ego at my feet and believes that I am doing the writing, then um, it shall be done. So you keep notes and um, chronicle all the things that you see. Before he met Baba, he had um, he was very egoistic and very proud that he could win any uh, discussion that was going on, any argument, he always won. So he was very, he had a lot of pride in that. And when Baba calls him Hemad Pant, it strikes a note and he says, Baba is really bringing down my um, ahankar. So as time goes on, we find that um, uh, Dabulkar literally surrenders totally to Baba and his, he's a very egoless person as if one can be. Charitra, many um, leelas are given about Hemad Pant, which are really very nice. Um, and we can learn lessons from it. First, we will go to the, uh, the dinner, the holy dinner uh, on Holika, on um, the festival of Holi. Uh, the night before, he gets um, a dream in which Baba says, I will come and um, dine in your house, for, dine at your house for, for this festival. So he tells his wife to prepare some more rice. So she's very curious, she said. Then she said, I got a dream of Baba and he said he's coming. So she says, will he come to our house and eat the coarse rice that we have? He gets such lovely food there at Shirdi. So he says, there's no harm in making more food. He'll come in some form or the other. Here, Dabulkar knows that Baba would come in some form. And um, they, they keep a central seat for Baba and they're all ready to eat and everything is about to, they're about to commence eating. Of course, Baba is not there. When they hear footsteps in the house in Sainivas, it is there as is. There are those stairs where um, um, Mamad Ismo came with the bas relief. And um, he goes and opens and then he finds this beautiful bas relief of Baba sitting on the stone. So he gives it the place of honor, and then they have the food. Um, other Leela is, um, there was a, a gentleman called Sate. He was in great financial difficulties and had a lot of difficulties and calamities in his life. And he comes to Shirdi. And Baba tells him to do Parayan of the Guru Charit for one week. So um, uh, he finishes the Guru Charit, and he gets a dream. He comes to his home and sa says, um, and explains the charitra to him. So he asks Dikshit, he says, I, I don't know what this dream means. Please ask Baba whether I should do another parayan. So mm, mm, Dikshit asks and Baba says, yes, do another reading of it. 
Dabulkar is sitting with him and he feels seven days of reading, Sati gets blessed with the dream. Seven years I'm here and I don't get anything. So immediately Baba says, go to Shama and Chitta. So he goes to Shama and one knows this beautiful story that uh, Shama tells him. Shama tells him the story of Radha Bhai Deshmukh who came to Shirdi and she was determined to fast till Baba gave her mantra uptesh. However, Baba says, my own Guru did not give me any mantra uptesh. So what I mean? So she uh, decides to uh, fast. So um, Shama says, Baba, you're doing all kinds of things. You call all these people here and then that old woman is fasting. If she dies, everybody will say Baba killed her because uh, he didn't give any month. You didn't give any mantra uptesh, so you better call. So he says, Shama, so he says, no, you do something, say something. So um, then uh, um, Shama calls that woman to Baba and Baba says this, the beautiful things he says, Kasavi jase aplepora, kalati nij drishti chachara. Just like the mother taught it, he first tells her, Ma, I never got a mantra updesh from my guru, so what am I going to blow into your ears? All this mantra updesh is not necessary. Just be like the mother tortoise and her little ones on the other side. She does not um, feed them, she does not touch them, cuddle them, she just gives glances. So, just look at me with all the concentration that you have and you will be um, carried through this samsara. Just before Baba's Mahasamadhi, Baba gives him buttermilk to drink and he says, Pivun Gere, after that is drink the buttermilk, after this you are not going to have the opportunity to drink the buttermilk. And after that Baba takes Mahasamadhi. Um, buttermilk is a very sattvic food. So one sees that the journey that Dabal did from this egoistic man who would um, argue and think that you know he he's so proud that he can win the argument to this guy who has become so humble and so surrendered to Baba that time and again he says I'm not writing it Baba is making me write it whatever is written is because of Baba he makes holds my hand and makes the the words flow Baba shows him that um, the change is possible and change for the better so you can become from from where you were you can progress and progress and progress and I'm there to take you just like you drink this buttermilk which is very sattvic and um, that heals the body gives you energy to do more work for Baba. Dabulkar had a daughter and she was married and um, Baba says to Dabulkar, she had a very difficult pregnancy and Baba says to Dabulkar, I will come in your house as your son. So Dabulkar is quite happy. She um, does give birth to a little boy and when, Dabul, when, it's, when it's okay for Dabulkar to go enter the room, he enters the room and he finds that the child is thrown in one corner and the mother is not willing to touch the child. So he looks at the child and he finds a halo around the head. Um, so he tells, the, tells his daughter, don't be afraid, this is Baba's gift to us. This child is a very precious spiritual being. So that is why you see all this. But she um, does not want to touch the child. Now two days pass and the child is not given a drop of milk. So he takes the child, the only thing he knows is Baba. He takes the child to Shirdi and then mm, mm, Baba puts the child in his lap and gives him, give, puts his thumb into the uh, mouth of that baby and out pours milk from his thumb and the child is uh, doing well. 
this child goes on to become Dev Baba, who is one of the spiritual leaders, a very spiritual man, a guru in um, Ambarnath. Whatever experience Baba gives you, or whatever you uh, experience happens in life, write them, spread them. You never know whose life you will change. Because through the Charitra, hundreds upon thousands of lives have been changed. In fact, people read the Charitra every day, one chapter, or they just put their finger in and open it and they get the answer to the question that they're asking. So you never know if you write a Leela that happened to you, um, you may change somebody's life. The other thing is Dabalkar's demeanor, how it changed through his contact with Baba. The very word um, Hemadri Pant was a blow to his ego in the sense that um, Baba says, oh, you, you are like Hemadri Pant and you're, um, you're, you think you won the argument. You have to surrender your ego to your Guru. You cannot have that I. I am writing, I am doing. You cannot have it. And if you don't have it, then you'll finally merge with your Guru. Um, he will look after you just like the mother tortoise. Without you even knowing it, he will turn you into gold. And that is exactly what Davalkar did for us by giving us this gem of a book. Everything is in there, the Gita, the Upanishads, laws of karma, not karma, everything is in there. Only we have to take the time to read and understand it. It is just a beautiful gatha of um, Sai Baba. And the nice part is in Maharashtra, um, the Marathi Charitra is written in OV form, so it's not read, and they sing it. So it's so alluring. Even when you pass by and the Charitra is being sung in the um, Samadhi Mandir, your feet just stop there and you try to find out which chapter could that have been, what is he singing, and you wait for a little while. So you're doing Shravan, you're listening to the thing. So I thank the Dabalkar for giving us this priceless gift and that is the Charitra. And I hope everybody will be able to read the OV to OV form of the Marathi Charitra. If they can't, then at least um, try not to read the abridged form, but to read the OV to OV form in English. So um, here again, I thank Dabul Karka for this. The, the Marathi Charitra, when you read it, then you are aghast. Right from the first chapter, when the four women come and divide the flower and take it away, he says, Phukat Khao Randi, which is an abuse. He, it's given in that. Did I eat, loot your father to, that you have the right to take away this? While in the translation, a lot of the, these words are missed. They say, Baba sternly said, why are you dividing the flower and taking it away? On another time when Satewada was to be built up um, for the second floor, um, they had to cut a branch of the neem tree. So Baba said, cut it. So all the devotees went there and with, with you know, they didn't want to cut Baba's neem tree. It's such a sacrilegious act. So he said, um, has the second floor gone up? They said, no, Baba. The neem branch is coming in the way. He said, but I told you to cut it, no? Then they all kept quiet. They said, we can't, we can't cut. So then Baba goes there and he cuts that branch. At that time, he says, Sangu ekta sangu donda na kare shabda gumana amcha ta pota cha pora sudha tuti chirun takumi. Um, I will tell you once, I will tell you twice, if you do not listen to my, or pay heed to my words, then even if you are my child in my uterus, I, I will cut you and throw you. This is 
mind, mind boggling or something. But um, again, it's lost in translation. They um, say Baba said um, about the cutting of the tree and he was very stern in his voice and things like that. It's not stern. Baba makes it very clear what he's going to do. So, um, I hope one day somebody would take the words of Baba and then um, make a make a booklet or a book of it and then um, give the translation like sentence. You can't do word to word in English or in any other language, but they can translate the sentence so that people know the way Baba spoke. He was not always this meek, nice, sweet little guy. He meant business and he made it everybody aware of what he wanted to get done or what he wanted them to do. So the, this is what I have to say about Dabulkar's Charitra.